My name is Tinka Polderman, and I'm fascinated by the influences of nature and nurture on human behavior, on behavioral problems, and in particular on ADHD. I guess you have all heard of ADHD. It stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. And children with ADHD are characterized by inattention, they can't concentrate, hyperactivity, they jump around the house and in the classroom, and impulsivity, they act without thinking. ADHD often comes with more problems, social problems, aggression, addiction, problems at school, leaving school without a diploma and subsequently unemployment. ADHD is highly prevalent in the Netherlands. Four to seven percent of the children has a diagnosis of ADHD. That's about a hundred thousand children. So, ADHD is a great burden for children themselves, for their families, but also for society as a whole. And I aim to find the causal factors of ADHD. We don't know the causal factors yet, and that really hampers treatment. Right now, children with ADHD are treated with a medical drug called Ritalin. Ritalin only helps in about 50% of the affected children and has serious side effects. Sleeping problems, eating problems. You don't want your child that is eight or nine years old to have sleeping problems or eating problems. And on top of that, we don't know what Ritalin exactly does in the child's brain. We do know two things. I study the influences of nature and nurture on ADHD now for about 10 years, and we know now that ADHD is highly heritable. That means nature is very important. Genes play a major role in ADHD. Secondly, the brain is involved. Children with ADHD have differences in certain brain structures compared to normal children. And we assume that the brain Brain development and the genes are highly intertwined. And I aim to unravel these complex mechanisms that cause ADHD. So ADHD affects many children in the Netherlands with very, very big problems involved. We don't know the causal factors of ADHD and that seriously hampers proper treatment. We do know that genes and the brain are involved. And I aim to reveal these complex mechanisms of genes and the brain in order to provide a proper treatment for the children that are suffering from ADHD. I do have the data, I have expertise, I have computational power. What I do need now are resources to pay a talented PhD student, a good PhD student, with whom I can work on a project that aims to solve the causal factors of ADHD. And I invite you now to watch a short movie that I made with two of my students last year and that perfectly summarizes my pitch. Thank you. Inattention, hyperactive and impulsive Current treatment is far from sufficient We lack knowledge and need more insight We know that genes are a key part of the problem And the brain is involved as well How it works remains the question Searching for the pathways MRI Brain structure and function integrate Novel methodology ADHD 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 to combine the best of two worlds Collaboration between the two fields Who finally solve the puzzle
Bop, bop, bop.